Hey everybody, what's going on? So I know if you're watching this video, one of your goals is to become a software developer. It's likely that you're trying to do this on your own. You're learning to code, you're self-taught. One of the problems that you will have that I've seen like firsthand is that you're going to end up wasting a lot of time if you're not careful with how you spend your time. And so in this video, I wanted to cover that big mistake that you're making with how you spend your time, give you a solution. So that way you're not doing this in five years, you're doing this in months instead. So before we get into the problem solution, I think it's really important to step back and to think about like, what does it take to become a software developer if you are a bartender or a lawyer? And that process to me is as simple as basically three phases, which are first you learn the fundamentals. So you learn a programming language, you learn some syntax, you move on to building out projects and building a portfolio so that you actually work on some of the skills that it, you know, it takes to be a software developer. And then you move on to the job hunt phase where you apply for jobs and you get a job offer. That's as simple as it gets. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of you guys understand that. The thing is you need to reverse engineer, right? So you need to look at that plan and then figure out how do you go from where you're at on this side to actually being a software developer. You start maybe adding a lot of different activities. You take a lot of action on this. The problem is, is that you often get lost in this. You start equating busyness with effectiveness, right? So for example, I know a lot of you guys are starting to build your projects out. Maybe you're building a to-do app. And you're building out your to-do app and you run into a problem. You are There's a big fat error message and you don't quite know how to get through that. Maybe you spend two hours on it and nothing makes sense. You try Googling things and you know what? You're, all of a sudden you figure like, well, you know what? I'll go try to watch this other tutorial that has nothing to do with my project and see what happens. When you are doing things that seem like they're programming related, but they're not actually related to you moving forward on the thing that you're stuck on, that is a waste of time. So say you even were supposed to study today, you're supposed to tax, you know, project that you're supposed to build, but you're watching this video instead. That's another bad sign because as much as this video can be helpful on the journey to become a programmer, I'm not going to address any problem that you're having in your code. And so that means that you need to go attack that directly. That's the problem I see is that a lot of times you guys will confuse things that seem like programming with things that actually are programming. And that's where you'll get into a lot of trouble. The solution to this problem comes down to decision making. So that means every time that you sit down to study or practice, you're making a decision about how you're going to spend that time. A lot of times you guys go by how you feel. You're like, well, I've got this tutorial that I bought on Udemy. I, I feel like doing it. Let's do it. That's not how you want to make decisions. What you always want to do is look at the plan that you have, the plan that you've created for yourself and let that guide you on what you need to do. So going back to the example of the to do app just makes it easy to kind of follow here. Look at where you're at with that project. What do you need help with? What are you not understanding? Whatever you come up with, if you don't understand the document object model, you're on click event listeners or event listeners, you don't quite understand that, that should cue you up to maybe what you can focus on for that hour. Maybe it's tutorials on event listeners. Maybe it's tutorials on the document object model. Maybe you don't even know and need to reach out to somebody and maybe it's a friend who's a software developer who can kind of guide you in the right direction. Don't make the mistake of you're kind of stuck on something. You watch a video on YouTube that doesn't relate to it and you end up not really going anywhere. So you want to directly attack your weaknesses figure out what those weaknesses are and relentlessly pursue that. Now, the last thing I'd say is if you've enjoyed this video and you like content like this, I would definitely recommend going down and hitting the subscribe button. Make sure to hit that bell icon as well so you get notifications every time that I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.